Good morning YouTube, welcome on this beautiful day here in the Netherlands, this beautiful Wednesday, uh, the 3rd of uh, September, right? Yeah, I'm right. So today we're gonna get ready to do some new um, Linux test and I'm going back to the first time that I ever heard of Linux. And I'm going back to 1992 when I was at some computer uh, uh, event and there was this Linux uh, uh, thing there and I went to these guys and I never heard of Linux but I was very interested uh, that time in all sorts of operating systems already. The computer I had at the time was the Atari well, in fact, on that same event, I bought uh, the Atari Atari. Was it like that? Atari ST two thousand forty. This is the first uh, PC I started with, and this was with a color monitor, but mine had a black white black and white monitor this is the thing i had i even had a hard drive like this at a certain moment but i remember buying my first uh, atari st 1040 even with a little cubase 2.0 included the guy was also a musician that i bought it from and it was a cracked version and that was how you know non-professional musicians uh, were still like learning and getting to work with uh, the Atari so you know this was my first thing but then at a certain moment uh, I came to this Linux guys and uh, at that time there was only uh, one popular really popular uh, distribution and that was from Knopix and Knopix I remember uh, at a certain time that I downloaded many versions of Knopix it always run sometimes it found uh, the, the the sound cards and sometimes not remember at that time we were running Pentium 2 computers laptops I remember trying this Knopix version I still have the CD somewhere the original by the way that I got from these guys you know uh, containing several uh, Linux distributions on it and um, well 2014 many years later almost 12 years later I'm back to Knopix well not really but some friend of mine Rob Rob uh, commented on my uh, video that I showed the uh, Mac running from the flash disk you know running Mac OS X from a USB stick because the thing has no hard drive the hard drive bay is gone by the way I found the hard drive bay on on, on Marktplatz for six euros fifty so I you know send the guy a message and I begged him if he could like send the thing to me so I'll ask my cousin to pay him by bank because I don't have no payments to do uh, by bank on the internet so yeah I might fix that machine but for now at this time uh, according to my friend Rob um, Knopix should be the best uh, to run from a flash disk because this thing also has a flash disk installer and you could see that in the um, I will show that really fast soon to you but uh, first we're gonna go to knopix.knopper.net and then Knopix I will put the link and then we will go ahead and download Knopix and if we go to the download of Knopix, you will see many things and you're like, what the heck is this? What is, I don't understand. Okay, what you should do here, all these things that you see here, yeah, are like the sponsors of the sites where these files are hosted. You know, sometimes for German people, it's better to take a German server, you know, and for Dutch people, it's better to take a, a, a Dutch server but if you don't have none of your none of that in the list you know for mere uh, m for mirrors i don't know what that means but 
up here I'm not so far from Germany so you know here but here you can see the countries Israel South Africa Singapore Turkey Austri Australia England Florida USA you know uh, I don't see Netherlands by the way most of the times Netherlands is also in the deal but Nederlande here you go here's the Dutch link so let's go ahead and find the link here this is the HTTP DVD link and this is the HTTP CD link this is a FTP so if you have a FTP downloader you should go for you know this site and this is also some whatever I'll go for this one so we just hit this and then here we must hit accept here means accept and up here we get into FTP and you're like what the heck am I seeing here I don't understand well it's really easy peeps take it easy here you can see the ISO file yeah but this ISO file is only 7 megabytes so this is not what you want huh okay so let me see if there's an option to put it on size so we just put it on size here and of course you should go for the latest version so now we should scroll down you know until we see that we are at the latest version this is 7.2 and here you see the ISO file you see this this is English this is German English German English German English German so we are English so we take English and now we can just save the file it's 700 megabyte so you will be able to burn it to a CD so you can like uh, boot from the CD and let's take a look at um, let's take a look at Canopix if we can see some uh, Uber owns project uh, um, let's look at Canopix Canopix 2014 that is uh, the 7.3 that is Adrian and I wanted to show you something Knopics of flash copieren that means um, I don't know if this is an installer so let's let's see what they are saying about that because I'm not sure if this is an installer or if this is just uh, a USB flash creator so let's take a look what are they saying about it because we're gonna install it eh? we're gonna install it after this on the blue Mac we're gonna kill the Mac kill the beach and then you know so uh, let's see something here possibly update flash uh, possibility to update an existing flash disk installation of Knopix via flash Knopix uh, do they say more about the flash LXDE is default with file manager KDA boot option Knopix is KDE DVD version only GNOME So we have several desktops in here. Uh, audio desktop reference implementation and network environment is a talking menu system which is supposed to make work and internet across uh, access easier for computer beginners now. We will see about that. Booting from flash. In order to create a bootable flash medium, this is what I was looking for. Memory flash disk, SD card, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. The program flash Knopix can be started from a running Knopix system. This program installs all needed Knopix files into a FAT formatted flash disk and creates a boot record for it if desired. The target medium can be partitioned and formatted or left in its initial state so that existence files stay intact. The Knopix live system starts and runs about factor 5 faster from USB flash disk 
then from CD or DVD. After having copied the system to flash using persistent Knopix image overlay feature, it is possible to also store files permanently in live mode. That way personal settings are additionally installed. Program survive a reboot. Okay, that is cool. So um let me see flash Knopix. Is that the same as we saw in this picture? Flash Knopix. Knopix of flash copieren. So how to install it? How to install it? Boot option. Uh, boot options like any can easily be preset. Are you reading with me, peeps? Okay, so I think it should be able after installation on USB flash disk. Hey, experimental support. After installation, okay, cool. So it's it's possible to install this, peeps. And uh, here you see the yeah terminal, etc. There are not so much uh, pictures or whatsoever from. From Knopix, so that's why I want to take the time to test out this operating system because you know Knopix, uh, I think it runs on the Debian, but I'm not really 100% sure. But I think yes, it runs on the Debian or whatever. Debian and Knopix are kind of family, but um, if I'm saying something wrong here, you must correct me, of course. Because it's been 12 years ago that I looked into Knopix. So, in fact, we're downloading uh, the file. As you see, it went really fast because we uh, went for a server in um, in our country. So, what we can do now is look for an empty CD. I hope I have one. So, we can do um, a boot up from CD. And we never looked what we downloaded if it was the 32 bit or the 64 bit. Oh boy, I hope it's the 32 bit. Let me see. Knopix 7.2. This is the 7.2 version, eh? It's not even the 7.3. Why didn't I find 7.3? Knopix 7.3 download. They said something that it was only available. Why did we go for We're back on this side. It's a little confusing. 7.3 HTML. This is the same bloody blah. Uh, exclusive in blah blah blah. It's only here available. Let me see if somebody put it somewhere else. Okay, there you go. Uh, Knopix 7.3 torrent download. I think I'll go for this one. I'll go for this one. 13 seeders. That's not so much. Oh, that is so big. That is so big. What is this? Dr Dream Dream Linux. What is Dream Linux? Dream Linux. What is Dream Linux? I never heard of Dream Linux. You guys ever heard of Dream Linux? Dream Linux. Sounds nice. What is it? Let's look at some screenshots.
so this is like a kind of apple uh, apple thing eh? we already have things like this we create that from mint linux so that was a quick look um, bup, 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 bup. only the dvd is available here and only four people seeding it that was really a pity my friend Zen Life, Ubuntu, these are all different versions. Damn. It is, it's gonna be one slow download. Oh, wait. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what we need. Where can we find it? Buy this arti article. Mm. Or oh, ask Klaus. No comments. Nobody's talking about Knopix. We must give this program a little bit of attention. You see Debian. Um, bup, 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 bup. So how can we download? That's why nobody's talking about it. It's so hard to find. I mean, like, come on, you guys. What's the deal with this? Is it so good that we must really... Knopix. Knopix. Login, request, post. No, yeah, people, I think this is, uh, this is ridiculous. We're now on a, on a site that I don't understand. Install Ichika, dear Burchi, Knopix. Install Ichika. Oh, 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 wait, 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 ho, ho, ho. I saw something here. What is this? Click here to close. I saw something here. Knopix, bloody bloody blah. Oh man, I don't comprehend. Gee, this is very difficult. So we have 7.2. Distro watch. Let's see. Distro watch. Knopix. August 7, 2014. This is pretty active. Okay. Popularity 342 people worldwide talking about this, looking for this. Hey, 7.4. This is the latest. Yay. 7.4 people and this is the DVD English and German so what's up with the CD we don't have no CD boys because this is really really big seven point two we already have that this is really big, huh? The all time of right? only, only the DVD edition was available for download. Okay, then let's go for this one. I'll download this. And uh, you can see that uh, the only way that I found 7.4 was at a distro watch. This is the brand new latest, latest, latest version of Knopix. I'm gonna keep this one because uh, let's find the PC specs for Knopix 7.2 Knopix, let's see what Wikipedia say about it Knopix 
can be used so so LXTE is a lightweight XLF desktop default uh, that, that, that hardware requirements there you go Intel AMD compatible 486 or later I don't believe that 32 megabyte RAM for text mode at least 128 megabyte for graphics mode will with LXDE at least 512 uh, megabyte RAM is recommended to use the various office products bootable CD-ROM or a boot floppy and standard CD-ROM IDE Atapi Scusi standard dot standard dot 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 okie doke versions you see oh 2000 was it 2000 was this the first version no it was not 2000 was it 2000 but that's 14 years ago so I'm not lying you see that peeps I was not lying it is 14 years ago 1.4 way back in 2000 2001 these are all the versions of Canopix that came out at that time there was no DVD it was very 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 expensive DVDs at the time burners were were costing like four or five hundred dollars man at that time at least mine did so these are all the versions and you can see that from 7.3 there is not even a 7.3 so I don't know the 7.3 is I think a special version for that for that uh, magazine because I don't see 7.3 in the listings here we go from 7.2 to 7.4 you see that So I think we know enough about Linux. Here we see some other versions of Linux that are like also kinda based on Gnopix. And let's take a look at the LXDE desktop. This is the LXDE Gnopix desktop. Yeah, in fact, it's it's nothing. Yeah. Well, I must look because Rob said that Canopix was made to run from flash drive, so installing it on a flash drive will make a speedy a speedy computer. You know that will boot in thirty seconds from the USB. So that's what we're gonna try. At least we have better specifications. We have a processor from 1.5 gigahertz Intel processor. You know we have a 512 megabyte RAM, so that and the processor will make you know a pretty nice system. We have a DVD, also also pretty fast. Uh, no hard drive, so we're gonna use the 16 gigabyte USB stick that has. Um, I might take another stick so I can keep the Mac OS X installation of course should not wipe that this man that is the hard drive of this machine so it can be a Mac and a Linux machine so peeps um, if you're also interested in this project I uh, will ask you now to go ahead and download uh, the same version or go for the 7.2 because I see that the 7.2 is in fact the same as 7.3 because they make a big step from 7.2 to 7.4 so uh, the 7.3 was I think strictly for the magazine so no need uh, to go bother about that just go for 7.2 and you'll be just fine um, yeah that's it um, download it create your bootable uh, CD and get your machine ready for uh, the installation that we will do on uh, in our next video because then we're gonna install uh, Knopix on uh, 
on the Dell Inspiron 6000. Thanks again for watching. If you think this video made any sense, you know, um, hit it, of course, like. Encourage me to, you know, do even better works. And, of course, uh, subscribe to my channel if this is the first time that you're, like, watching one of my movies. Thanks again, and till my next video. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, by the way, this video was recorded on a Mac, on a MacBook, uh, with... Uh, the program called QuickTime Player because with QuickTime Player peeps you can easily record your desktop so that's it um, yeah that's it no more news bye bye